So welcome again to the MOOC Managing Responsibly Practicing Sustainability Responsibility and Ethics. Um, we're in week one right now and we're talking about the introduction to managing responsibly and we do have someone here who actually does that on his job every day. Um, he is Rodrigo Morales from Mexico uh, and he is Social Responsibility Manager at Banregio. Um, yeah, welcome. Rodrigo, could you maybe just tell us a little bit more about who you are and what you are actually doing on your job? Thank you, Oliver, for inviting me. And um, well, my name, as you mentioned, is Rodrigo Morales. I work uh, for Banregio, which is a regional bank in northern Mexico. It is located in Monterrey, Mexico, which is, which is Mexico's third largest city. And it is a, it is a, a service bank which is focusing on um, providing credit to entrepreneurs, among other services. Um, well, the bank has existed for over 20 years. Nonetheless, the social responsibility area or department has existed for one and a half years. So um, we started uh, the social responsibility area focusing on employees. The wellness component of the social responsibility area has been uh, the most important one so far. And however, uh, we are starting uh, slowly to impact in the outside with the community. And basically what we do with the, with the wellness uh, component of the area is to provide or to enhance the quality of life of employees we do this by providing um, um, emotional intelligence sessions, uh, health preventing health sessions, preventing diseases or, or any medical condition. We also provide uh, recreational activities uh, among several sport disciplines, um, and. Um, we also offer uh, volunteering opportunities for employees. Uh, I, I would like to um, be more specific on the volunteering uh, activities that we do. We have two programs. The most important one is uh, directly related to um, the bank's mission. Um, we, we offer employees the opportunity to go to public schools and uh, teach per, uh, financial um, education sessions for these uh, for these kids, um, and this this is a, a a program in which employees go to this uh, public school once a week for ten weeks, and they deliver uh, um, all this knowledge about. Uh, how to save money, how to have a budget, what is credit, in, uh, uh, among other uh, financial literacy or uh, financial education topics. Uh, and the second uh, program is a mentoring program. We offer senior employees the opportunity to, uh, to be part of this skills-based volunteering program. They offer their skills to mentor and assess social entrepreneurs. And this is how uh, these, these senior employees provide their knowledge, their expertise, their experience uh, to these young social entrepreneurs. And uh, even though some entrepreneurs, like all entrepreneurs in, in the world, fail at some point, some of them will uh, grow their business and uh, since they are social entrepreneurs, they will have social or environmental impact in the outside. So this is the first component uh, with, the, with the wellness uh, program that we offer to employees. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I'm getting to, to uh, if I'm getting ahead of topic. Yeah, no, I think that's, 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 that's Perfect, because you're telling us in a very uh, uh, in a very kind of hands-on ways what uh, what the bank is doing really, um, and I think we're getting getting back to that once we talk about the the areas of sustainability, responsibility, and ethics, and how all of these different topics 
uh, come together. But before we go there, it would be very, very interesting to, to hear a little bit more about your, your personal story. So how did you get interested in uh, the topic of uh, social responsibility? Um, was it easy to get a job in it? What is your personal background? How, how did you end up doing what you're doing right now? Um, because in, in the MOOC we will probably have quite a number of people um, who are considering working in similar areas. So getting that kind of personal story from your side would be very interesting. And of course, um, well, it, it, I have to tell you it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. It might be easier now because uh, uh, some countries are, are already ahead, uh, are already advancing and are already conscious and empathic about uh, certain situations. And um, well, I, I studied international business and I actually um, started becoming, I, I became interested in social responsibility during the financial crisis in 2008. Mm. I couldn't find a job in any discipline, in any area. And on the other hand, there were cutbacks in, in, in most corporations. And, but then, as I looked and looked for a job, I I came up with a social responsibility uh, opening. I read the description, and that's, that's where I, I I just read it, and I I I think I think a passion started, you know, a professional passion began the day I read that profile, that, that description, that job description, and 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 it wasn't easy. I had to be a, a volunteer for an NGO at, at first, promoting social responsibility. That's where I, uh, I got to know a lot of people, a lot of contacts, and that eventually took me to another nonprofit that specialized in volunteering. And that's where I um, helped this nonprofit creating corporate volunteering projects mm. with corporations in, in, in the city. And, and that's where I um, became known by, by this uh, small circle of social responsibility and sustainability uh, professionals. And one thing led to another. After that, I, I worked for a year in a social educational um, program, which pursued to enhance the quality of, of public education in the city. Mm -hmm. And this was sponsored by a corporation. And it was a pilot project. I was there for a year. And then um, I wanted to become more aware, become more uh, um, specialized in, in, in what the real issues are. And that's, where I, that's why I decided to study a master's degree in sustainable development, All right. which yeah. I did actually in the UK. And that's where I got really hands-on the knowledge, the experience, the, the actually also the practice of, of um, lots of issues of, such as education and uh, food security, environmental awareness of environmental degradation. So um, this really um, enhanced my career. And when I came back to Mexico, I, I was offered a job at, at, at the back where I currently work. That's yeah. a, a summary of what I've done. and. Um, Hmm. I would encourage people to, to go for it and, and, and fight for it. If this is a passion for you, I would definitely encourage you to um, to, to, to struggle for it. Um, there, are, there will always be opportunities. Uh, perhaps at, at the beginning they will not be paid. You can always be a volunteer and become involved in social or environmental causes. Yeah. And one thing leads to another. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how, how long did that whole process take for you? Was that like like three, four, five years or something from that point where you, where you encountered your passion and the point that you actually had the full-time job which you're having right now? Well, it started, uh, it, it, it's been eight years wow. since I first started volunteering. So, um, yeah, it, <laughs> now that I remember, uh, it, it wasn't hard. It wasn't easy, sorry, at the beginning, but mm. you know, one, one thing leads to another and, and here I am. Yeah, excellent. Wow. So, so you just said actually you uh, you initially you started the topic more on the social responsibility side, but then you were doing your master's program in sustainable development. Uh, and of course, I 
I believe you probably have encountered topics around ethics and moral responsibilities as well. So I'm, I'm wondering, um, how do you, in, in your work, um, do these topics of uh, like environmental sustainability and social responsibility and ethics, do they come together? Are these present in your work? And if so, how, where, where do you see these topics? Definitely. Um, I think the, the becoming aware and empathic about social and environmental issues uh, gives you a, a different mindset. Hmm. As a social responsibility professional, you are supposed to have this mindset in which ethics and responsible management uh, become uh, become the the, 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 the main uh, your main drive. Mm. And nonetheless, the, the corporations are full of different personalities, different uh, uh, profiles of, of persons, and um, as a social responsibility professional within a corporation, it is very important to have a, a, to pursue your, um, your work with senior officers within the corporation. Um, perhaps your, uh, your CEO will not be, uh, will not have time, will not, uh, perhaps he or she will have more important uh, um, tasks to do uh, that are related to the to the mission, you know, to the to the strategy and the business. Mm. But that's where a social responsibility or sustainability professional uh, becomes a, a, a pusher in, in these topics, and um, it is very important to create a, a, a communication strategy around ethics and responsible management. Otherwise. Uh, your job, uh, the social responsibility professional's work becomes a, a bit, um, um, it, 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 it weakens somehow. Mm. Uh, but that's where your drive has to push and push and push until, until uh, people become aware and decisions are made towards a, a, a more sustainable strategy. So. If you, if you hear the, the term or the word responsible management, I wonder what, what comes to your mind, what responsible management actually means to you. Um, within a corporation, responsible management, in my opinion, uh, is not only a, 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 an activity a social responsibility professional does. I think it, it involves a group of leaders within a corporation making decisions towards a more sustainable future for the corporation. And I, 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 don't, I don't mean a, a factory polluting or, or what happens outside a factory with its neighbors. What I mean is making decisions that will uh, maintain the business strategy in the long term. That's what, I, that's what, I, that what, that's what comes to my mind. So if you say uh, maintain it, does that mean maintain it financially so that the, the company doesn't collapse or does maintain also relate to, I don't know, like the reputation, um, like the social kind of social license to operate that you sometimes talk, talk about. So what, if you, if you say ma maintain, what, what does that include for you? You, you maintain it by reducing risks hmm. um, and if you, if you if you, as a corporation, behave ethically uh, with with all your stakeholders, what I mean is your your neighbors, as I mentioned, uh, the the community itself around the factory or corporation, and um, at the end, the whole country, depending on the operation of each corporation, um, by maintaining uh, uh, the bonds with these stakeholders. Mm and uh, reducing your impact as a corporation socially and environmentally, um, you will end up reducing risks and therefore maintaining the business in the long term. Okay, I see. So how, um, yeah, so you had your, your own definition of res responsible management, uh, that's, that's what you mentioned before, I wonder, but it's very much a definition of someone whose main job is actually managing responsibility. So I wonder, um, 
can can actually anyone in a company be a responsible manager in in a certain way or what would responsible management mean for someone who's doing a normal marketing job an accounting job a job in strategy maybe one in operations management would you say there's responsible managers in those jobs as well i think everyone can participate towards responsible management in achieving responsible management the um, junior employees can become volunteers mm. they can they can even by just spreading the word about what the social responsibility area is doing creates great value within the corporation yeah um, but that's why i mentioned that senior uh, uh, employees or leaders within the corporation which are the ones that make the big decisions mm. um, have a greater a greater responsibility in achieving mm. uh, uh, the, the corporation's responsible yeah. management. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're having a dog in the back, aren't you? <laughs> that's the environmental part of your job, oh, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah. No worries. Um, so. So that's actually interesting because you, uh, I understood you differently before. Before I was thinking it, so it sounded like um, there's a couple of people who do responsible management uh, and those are only the leaders. But now you're saying like those leaders are actually having greater responsibility. So automatically the, the more power and the more, uh, um, the more a leader you are, the more respons responsibility you will have as well. So this is, this is a very, very interesting idea. Yeah. Um, and actually, what I, I think many of the people who will be in that MOOC will also be people who are working uh, across a company in any kind of job. So these people working as, in marketing, for instance, before they might want to think about uh, what they could, can do in their own job. So for instance, to think about social marketing or cost related marketing or uh, someone who's working in accounting might think about KPIs for environmental management, uh, for instance, or for CO2 impact. So there are many small things that these people can do as well, but the, the leaders probably are the ones who need to like to set the scene so that the, all of these things can actually happen. Uh, so that's a very, very interesting perspective. Um, I wonder if, if there's, uh, is there anything else uh, that you would actually like to, uh, to, to tell the people participating in the MOOC, any kind of message apart from those kind of questions that I was asking you uh, that you would like to communicate? Um, well, for those for those who join this program, mm -hmm. just to uh, find out what what social responsibility or sustainability is, uh, I encourage you to to keep to keep uh, reading, to keep uh, joining these type of courses. There are lots of, of information available, uh, and and lots of different topics within social responsibility or sustainability that, that you might become even more interested or even passionate about. Mm. Uh, sustainability is, a, is, is very, very vast. It has uh, plenty of, of lines uh, in which you can uh, even uh, become a pro get a profession in, uh, on the topic. So I encourage them to uh, to keep becoming involved, and uh, and for those who are more of a a, um, a practitioner or a, or a goal oriented person, uh, th there are always nonprofits in in your area in your city that in, in which um, you can become a volunteer and help them. Uh, so I would encourage them. Uh, to learn more and to, to become more active on, on what you've learned yeah. so far. Yeah, great, excellent message. Thank you so much for that. Um, so I think Rodrigo here has uh, given a, a very, very interesting insight from someone who became interested in uh, topics of sustainability, of responsibility and ethics. And, and as, as you said, you developed a passion uh, for it, then made your way through all of the different programs and jobs and ideas until you actually now uh, doing that full time, which is, uh, I think, quite a great achievement. So I think that's an, an interesting story that you're telling there uh, and probably one that is uh, very relevant for the people um, sitting on uh, on this MOOC and, and curious about the topic itself. So, um, well, Rodrigo, thank you very much for, uh, for all of those uh, very personal and interesting insights. Um, 
This was Rodrigo Morales from Banregio in uh, Mexico telling us a little bit more about what it actually means um, to do a responsible management, mainstream, normal, full-time responsible management job on a daily basis. Thank you very much, Rodrigo. You're, you're very welcome. Mm. Have a good day.